Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Mike Fell is a social behavioral researcher in the UK who's interested in all the ways we can help solve climate change through behavior. Oh, and it also turns out Mike is a big fan of heat pumps. You know, the super efficient heating and cooling systems that can be powered with renewable energy. For whatever reason, I was Googling heat pumps and I was like, oh my, these just look shockingly bad. <laughs> um, in general, I was like, uh, I was, God, like, who's going to who's gonna want to kind of put one of these in their garden and sit having a barbecue kind of looking at it? So Mike made it his mission to make heat pumps sexy and he started a website called Pump Chic. Dot com. Here you can see heat pumps in action using augmented reality, hear recordings of them, and even learn about the benefits. Then, in a series of tweets, Mike got the idea of comparing heat pumps to the very suave George Clooney as a way of getting attention. And that's how we discovered his work. Sure, George Clooney looks dapper in plaid, and the comparisons are cool, but there's a method to Mike's approach. Where we are in the UK at the moment, what most people do is burn natural gas in a boiler. That releases heat, heats up water, and they pump it around the house and it heats up the house. And obviously the problem with that is natural gas, when we burn it, releases carbon dioxide. Um, so how do we remove natural gas from heating our homes, which is about 80% of homes in the UK? Um, the main uh, option on the table um, for us at the moment and in many places around the world, is to electrify heat. Anyone familiar with an air conditioner or a fridge is familiar with a heat pump. So the point is, by electrifying heat, it allows us to decarbonize it. We can use electricity to run heat pumps. Um, and they're also a lot more of an efficient way to heat as well, because a heat pump isn't generating heat like a, boi like a boiler does when you burn gas. All it's doing is capturing the heat that's already out there in the outside, even if it's very cold outside, there's still heat there that can be captured. But I mean, certainly I know when it comes to heating, the reason they're seen as being efficient is because, you know, when they're installed well and working properly, basically for like every unit of electricity you're putting in, you're moving into the house, you know, maybe three or four units of heat. Um, so in some ways, they're sort of like three, four hundred percent efficient if they're running properly. It's seen as being an absolutely like major part of the solution to climate change here, certainly to cut to, to, you know, to reducing our climate carbon emissions. Like I said, I think it's about 80% of homes heated by burning natural gas at the moment. The UK, like Alberta, has slashed its coal-fired electricity generation from 72% in 1990 to just 1.8% in 2020. Today, almost 60% is generated by renewable energy and nuclear. So electric heat pumps make even more sense today. In the moderate climate of the UK, heat pumps can easily replace gas-fired boilers or oil heating. The amount of renewable energy on the grid varies over time, and the UK publishes these statistics live. So, Mike also came up with the idea of encouraging people to use electricity when there's more than 33% renewable energy being produced. So, he created a website. On a overcast, still winter's day, there might be very little solar generation, very little wind generation. You know, you might be having you know, we see like down to 5% or something renewable generation. So you've got loads of loads of carbon coming from gas or even coal on the system in the UK. On the other hand, you might have a kind of windy, hot summer's day, sunny summer's, summer's day, where you might have, uh, you know, two thirds of the generation coming from renewables. And I was, um, being a baker, one of the biggest kind of electricity using devices in my home is the oven because I haven't got an electric car or anything like that. So I was like, oh, I'd really like to be able to bake when there's low carbon on the grid, basically. Um, so there is actually, uh, like the national grid here makes available um, an API, which is like a, a feed of the carbon intensity of the grid. So yeah, we just developed this basic website and Twitter feed, which you, it only applies in, to the Great Britain, unfortunately. Um, but if you're a baker, you can uh, follow it along and it will let you know when you should bake um, to have your kind of, to be baking with low carbon power. That's hilarious. What's the website? It's called shouldibake.com. Mike says politicians love to stand in front of sexy solar or wind projects for photo shoots. But energy efficiency, he says, is just as important. So maybe this is another reason why I'm kind of uh, trying to kind of 
<laughs> sexy up, sex up the, uh, the heat pump thing, because um, otherwise these things do tend to, you know, do tend to get, get ignored when, you know, we kind of always know that the, the cheapest or the lowest carbon energy that you can, that there is, is the unit that you don't use, you know. Mike Fell is even working on a peer-to-peer energy trading system to help people get access to renewable energy. For links to Mike's sites or to drop a heat pump anywhere using his virtual reality tool, head on down to greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.